Todd, we're talking running backs, a position that didn't see one back go in the first round last year. May not have another one this year, but we did see Eddie Lacy go late second. A big dividends for the Green Bay Packers. Andre Ellington goes on day three, pays dividends for the Arizona Cardinals. Running backs, it's a good group, a solid group. Who presents the most upside in your opinion? Yeah, I love the later rounds in this year's class. One player is Damian Williams. He's not in my top five. He's probably going to be a day three pick. When we talk about upside and value that you're going to get, Damian Williams from Oklahoma. He was dismissed from the football team this year. The preseason, I gave him a third-round grade coming in. Catches the ball very well. He goes to the combine, has an explosive workout, including a 38-inch vertical and a 406 in the short shuttle. The guy can move laterally. He can explode with his lower body, can catch the football. I think it's terrific value if you can get him in that fifth, six-round range. And Todd, I'll go to a guy who's number one on a running back board and could be an early to mid-second round pick and present tremendous value, just like Eddie Lacy did, is Carlos Hyde from Ohio State. You talk about violent runner, attacks the line of scrimmage. I've never seen a guy break more tackles, get more yards there for initial contact than Carlos Hyde does. And I tell you, you talk about a kid who can bring it play after play as a nightmare to try to tackle, it's Carlos Hyde. I think he can be the best running back from this group. He's probably going to be the first running back off the board. Now, when we talk running backs and we think about a guy who may present some risk, right. where do you go? I'm going to go to Oregon, DeAnthony Thomas. I'm going to make it real simple for you. If you don't have a true position and you don't have size and you don't have durability, you better fly. And 4-5-0 is not flying at the combine. I've seen him live. He plays faster on the field. But I, I'd rather try Dre Archer from Kent State, who ran a 4-2-6, the fastest 40 time. They're almost identical football players. I think with DeAnthony Thomas, some team's going to wind up drafting him a little bit too high this year. Agreed. He's the guy with risk because you said it. Where's the position fit? Now, he'll probably end up being, I think, probably a borderline day two, day three guy. Mm -hmm. But you expected all that explosiveness to translate to a 40, and it didn't. And the position, where does he fit in at the pro level? I'm going to go now to under the radar, right. and we could go a lot of different ways. You know where I'm going, but I want to find out where you're going. <laughs> I always know where you're going. you got a fence around Maryland. But at first, I'm going to go to Georgia Southern, Jarek McKinnon. That triple option offense, he was a quarterback his junior year. He moves a running back his senior year, still plays some quarterback, and he has a monster season. This guy's raw as a running back. He can catch the ball. We saw that during the combine workouts. And he was in the top five in everything he did, from 40-yard dash to bench press to jumps to the shuttles. This guy has a lot of raw talent. Sixth, seventh round, I'd love to bring in a Jarek McKinnon. And day three, my guy, you said it. Houston University, okay? I wasn't going to touch him. I knew. Sean Landetta, Dave Meggett, Jermon Bush, <laughs> this go. goes on and on. <laughs> this guy, Rob Ambrose, done a heck of a job there. And Terrence West, running back at Towson, basically carrying this football team to the Division One AA championship. Over 2,400 yards, 6.2 yard average. You know that guy that just gets after I tell you, his running style, I like. I like the fact he catches the ball out of the backfield. He smells the end zone. 40 rushing touchdowns for Terrence West. You know more about Terrence West than you do Carlos Hyde. Exactly. Day three pick that makes sense. And there you had a host of running backs are going to play in the NFL, and we're going to have one that'll go to the second round of the NFL draft.